A very good morning. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about another important crop that is a sunflower. In the case of sunflower, both variety and hybrids are available for cultivations. So, first, uh, I would like to give you information about that uh, seed and its internal structures. Uh, regarding that, uh, sunflower is concerned, uh, this is a dicot seed, but here that the cotyledons are available in the form of uh, leafy nature. So, this is a two leafy cotyledon that is placed uh, uh, in between two solid cotyledons uh, to that uh, endosperm so even though this is a dicot so this have a uh, endosperm also so this comes under the albuminous category suppose this is a seed if you split open these two on inner side you can see these two uh, leafy uh, shape uh, cotyledon so this also white in nature but uh, veins and everything will be available like that of the leaf then that leafy cartilidin and endosperm that is well surrounded by the black color layer that is a pericarp so that is outermost layer so this is in short about that uh, internal seed structure of the uh, sunflower uh, regarding that floral structures uh, that uh, sunflower that have uh, a ray flower that is a yellow color one yellow color one and the bottom of that uh, that uh, uh, male organ will be there or sometimes it's a sterile nature so as far as that ray flower is concerned so this individual ray flower uh, 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 thing so this particular ray flower may be a uh, sterile nature or uh, male fertile nature that on inner side so this is a this is a one there's a disc floor so that the disc floor is a bisexual nature both the male and female organ will be available so this isolated disc floor so both male and female organs will be available so stigma style land there and ovary everything will be available so here only uh, whatever the parts are available in the disc that alone get converted into uh, seeds so regarding that floral biology uh, already we discussed uh, about that uh, uh, different kind of pollination in the uh, genetic principle itself uh, at that time we discussed about that uh, sunflower is uh, uh, highly cross pollinated the main reason for that one is occurrence of the self incompatibility so occurrence of the self incompatibility mechanism you make the sunflower to undergo that cross pollination alone a self incompatibility means whatever that pollen produced uh, by the disc flowers not able to pollinate the same flower okay whatever the pollen produced by one particular flower say example this flower also able to produce the disc flower able to produce the pollen grains whatever the pollen produced by this uh, disc flower not able to pollinate the same flower so that is a self incompatibility mechanism so uh, that is exist in the case of a sunflower so because of that uh, in the case of sunflower the cross pollination is the rule apart from self incompatibility mechanism in the case of sunflower that also have a proto anthery nature so that anther will attain maturity earlier than the stigma so these two mechanism make this uh, sunflower as a highly cross pollinated one and the main pollinating agents are honey bee honey bee are the main pollinating agents so uh, if we wanted to have a better seed set in the sunflower field we have to maintain that uh, certain number of that uh, bee hives so that and all we can discuss in the um, cultivation related uh, uh, discussions then that uh, two uh, the crop has got two type of flowers that i already told you the ray flower and disc flowers that ray flowers are mostly it's a male star uh, that is a sterile nature or male fertile the disc flowers are bisexual nature uh, self incompatibility mechanisms and uh, the uh, another main thing with reference to that uh, sunflower is concern uh, whatever that flowers available in the head whatever the flowers available in the disc uh, for complete opening of all the flowers available in the disc that itself take 5 to 10 days period of time say so in the first day uh, during that flowering period first day whatever that flowers available in the outermost holes that will open the next day that will proceed towards the center the next and then next day next 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 like that only so for complete opening of all the flowers available in the disc that itself will take 5 to 10 days period of time so that is the uh, uh, head plume uh, days and the pollen grains will be viable for only 12 hours and this is peak time is uh, normally in between 8 am to 11 am so this is a cross section of the uh, this one is a uh, 
Uh, this, fiction, this one is a cross section of the sunflower. So here you can see that the corolla and associated uh, in the bottom that uh, flowers will be available. That is a ray flower one. So whereas that this is a uh, flowers arranged in the uh, disc. So this is a disc flower. So bisexual nature. Uh, then regarding stages of that uh, seed production. So here uh, we are following a three generation system. That is a breeder seed, foundation and certified seed system. Varieties are multiplied by following that controlled open pollination process, whereas hybrids are produced by following that cytoplasmic genetic male cellulite systems or three line systems. First, we can discuss about uh, seed production varieties, so land requirement. So, here also we have to follow that same term rule the selected variety should, and that selected field should not be cultivated with the other variety of the same crop in the previous season. If you select that kind of plant, there is a chance for occurrence of the volunteer plants. The volunteer plants are pollen contaminant so this crop also a yeah, highly cross pollinated so maintenance of the genetic purity will be a very very challenging thing so because of that land selection itself you make more uh, stringent uh, uh, things so accordingly you have to as per the rule you have to select so you, whatever the land selected you have to ensure that land is free from volunteer plants and that should have a well drainage facility soil should be fertile in nature and the ideal season for uh, uh, seed production is April May is ideal season for irrigated crops because uh, at any cost that the flowering period should not coincide with the rain. If at all any rain occur, whatever that pollen produced on one particular head, uh, already due to presence of that self incompatibility mechanism, that pollen not not at all useful for the same flower. If at all any rain occur, that rain will wash out the pollen. So the same pollen may not be available for the nearby plants also. So there is a serious uh, problem with reference to seed set. So there we cannot harvest any seeds. So that is a problem. So that the flowering period should not coincide with the heavy rain. Similarly, that uh, maturity also should not coincide with the rain because here that uh, and the seeds are exposed, there is no covering. So and that uh, and also that the uh, seed also going to be there in the terminal part of the plant systems so that the uh, seed alone will receive the rain but i'll need rain the seed alone will uh, receive the rain first then only that leaf and stem and all so there is a chance for uh, moisture increase and once that uh, seed moisture increase automatically that will be amenable for almost all the pest and disease attack so we must very careful with reference to selection of the season so if it is a uh, april may if you take up that April May, so before that, uh, that uh, June, July in Tamil Nadu, you will receive the rain. So before that, that will attain maturity. So that is the thing. So seed rate here 8 to 10 kg per hectare per variety. Isolation distance, I already told you. So if it is a cross pollinator crop, in general, we are following 400 meter per foundation stage and a 200 meter for certified stage in the case of the varietal seed production. Uh, we have to use authenticated seed material by that way only we can avoid the occurrence of the genetic contaminations and uh, here that seeds are directly sown uh, and, uh, manually and uh, that riches and furrows will be formed and the riches that the seed will be sown and the depth of the sowing will be 2 to 4 centimeter and the spacing is uh, 16 to 20 centimeters uh, 16 to 20 centimeter we have to follow Another important thing with reference to that uh, seed, uh, sunflower is concerned. Some of the variety they have the problem of the physiological dormancy. Physiological dormancy means that dormancy may be governed by the presence of some uh, organic acids or phenolic substances and hormonal other types of plant growth regulator imbalance. If at all the seed have the problem of that uh, of phenolic compound or any organic uh, acids, to overcome that particular problem, seed must be treated with ethyl. Ethyl. So we have to prepare that uh, ethyl uh, 300 ppm solutions, and uh, seed should be soaked in for about eight hours. So by that way, we can overcome that particular problems. Or otherwise, we have to prepare 0.5 percent potassium nitrate solutions. In that, we have to soak the seeds for about 16 hours. So by that way, you can make your seed as a germinable one. Okay, and so that is a thing. Then apart from that, uh, here also we are recommending that seed hardening operations. So here we are recommending 2% zinc sulphate. So we have to prepare 2% zinc sulphate. In that we have to soak the seeds for about 12 hours. The seed solution ACS is 1 is to 0.6. Another important thing with reference to seed hardening and related uh, chemical usage of that uh, sunflower is concerned. So here we are recommending zinc sulphate. So the zinc sulphate is very much needed as far as that sunflower is concerned because the zinc is responsible for production of the indole acetic acid. 
so that endolastic acid is very much needed for maintenance of the apical dominance so apical dominance means that uh, there won't be any branching the main stem alone will grow uh, in a vertical manner if it is uh, there won't be any branching and only one main stem alone is there means only one hair gut alone will be formed that will be in recurrent size suppose that apical dominance property get disturbed there is a chance for occurrence of the branching if at all any branching occur like this if at all any branching occur automatically that uh, topmost head size will be decreased and small small heads will be produced on all the sides of the plants moreover this particular head alone exposed to outside the rest of the things may be hidden by the leaf so if at all the heads are hidden by the leaf means and the that pollen not able to reach these heads pollen not able to reach these heads so there won't be any pollination in these cases here only uh, that uh, pollen will be transferred and the seed formation will be there due to more number of ear head produced by a single plant that uh, diameter and size of the individual head and all get decreased so this ultimately make that uh, yield is very much reduced so that is a problem so to avoid this particular problem we have to make this plan and to maintain that apical dominance apical dominance property for that purpose you have to make the plan to produce adequate amount of the iaa endolastic acid so for the formation of or for the biosynthesis of iaa endolastic acid in the plant systems the plant always need zinc okay the zinc is very much needed for iaa formation so for that purpose only for seed oil and treatment we are recommending zinc sulfate another uh, thing is that sulfur also very much needed for almost all the oil seed crops not only sunflower starting from sunflower groundnut and uh, sesame and uh, castor almost all the oil seed crops that should be supplied with adequate amount of the sulfur uh, the sulfur also very much important so because that sulfur play some uh, important role with reference to um, synthesis of the oil and the quality maintenance of the oil apart from that that also responsible for maintaining the greenness in the leaf so that is very much needed to maximize the photosynthetic efficiency of the plant system so these are all the things behind that selection of the chemical for seed earning in the case of sunflower so uh, sunflower we have to use zinc sulfates or for seed earning purpose so here that seed solution they say is 1 is to 0.6 apart from that we can also offer the dasospirum treatment if it is through seed means we have to use three packets then regarding that fertilizers so since it's agriculture crops here also we have to use 12.5 ton as predicted for my menu whereas that npk 80 40 40 kg predicted out of that half dose of that nitrogen full dose of that phosphorus uh, and potassium applied as a basal and uh, remaining half of the uh, nitrogen that should be applied on uh, 40th day after sowing Uh, during that the 40 to 45th day also we have to do one of the uh, important operation that is earthing up operations so the same operations we are following in the case of that groundnut also so that is mainly for loosening of the soil so by loosening of the soil we are making that uh, peg to penetrate very easily and uh, we are making that part uh, to enlarge without any hurdles uh, in the case of sunflower and uh, that earthing up operation is very very important so through earthing up operations we are going to extend the mechanical support for the main stem to hold the head very safely suppose that head weight will be increased at the terminal part but the anchorage of the stem is not that much good means weak means the plan the main stem not able to hold the head so there will be a lodging so once if it is lodged automatically that uh, there won't be any seed set so to avoid lodging so on 40 to 45th day after sowing we have to do that earthing up operations we have to loosen the soil that soil should be applied all the four sides of that main stems so that will give you mechanical strength to the main stem during that times we have to apply that uh, 40 kg of nitrogen then polia spray so since it's a seed crops so here also we have to apply that uh, 2% dap or we have to apply 20 ppm of naphthalene acetic acid after two times 30 days after sowing and uh, uh, 60 days after sowing then micronutrient i already uh, that uh, emphasized that importance of that uh, zinc and its role with reference to iaa production apart from that iron deficiency also a uh, serious affect the pollen production pollen viability so here that the production of the pollen that to viable pollen is very much needed uh so here we have to ensure that uh, iron uh, right quantity should be available for the crop 
then uh, borax also create some sort of problem particularly that create a problem with reference to that uh, put, uh, the pattern setting and uh, seed formation so to avoid that we have to apply 0.5 percent borax during that pattern formation stage then irrigation once in a week we have to apply critical stages for irrigation are primary initiations vegetative milky and maturity stages weed management just like that of our pulses so here also we are recommending that blue chlorelin so 2 liter per hectare it's a free emergence herbicides then roguing is very very important operation so based on the leaf serrations vein color and uh, uh, head head uh, positions and uh, shape of the head so based on that we have to do that roguing operations then this is a very very important operation as far as that sunflower is concerned so through this operation only we can uh, increase that uh, seed set of the sunflower so because that uh, sunflower having the problem of that uh, self incompatibility and proto andre mechanisms so for uh, development of the seeds in one of the head that always depends uh, pollen from the other head say example if you want to convert all the disc flower into uh, seeds uh, this particular disc need to receive pollen from this particular plant. Similarly, this uh, whatever the pollen available here that need to be transferred to the other head. But the exchange of the pollen should be occur between two plants of the same variety. Say example, this is a co one sunflower mean this also should be a co one sunflower. So exchange of the pollen between these two make this um, uh, make this exchange um, to enter into the pollination fertilization ultimately the seed will be formed here there also so both of them are co one nature there won't be any genetic contaminations so here these uh, things we have to ensure so that is uh, the two various uh, operations we are going to uh, do that particular thing so one of the operation is uh, rubbing the head uh, so uh, manually we have to hold the plant say example this is a one plant and its head and this is another plant and its head means and so during that uh, flowering time during that flowering time particularly if it is a long duration variety that uh, mid flowering that 50 percent flowering will occur during 58 to 60 days if it is a short duration variety there we can expect that to 45 to 48 days so during that period of time so we have to enter in the field and hold the head in this head in one hand and hold this plant with another hand uh, another hand and then you have to rub you have to manually rub these two heads so if you do so during that rubbing whatever that uh, uh, flowers are open on that particular day that will receive the pollen from this particular plant similarly so whatever the plant, uh, flowers that is open on this particular day that will receive the pollen from this plant so this is a manual rubbing manually you have to hold the plant and go for rubbing of that one so by the way we can ensure availability of the pollen for this particular thing so this is not a one day process uh, already i told you the head plume days is five to ten days so we have to do that uh, uh, that head to head wrapping operations for about uh, seven to ten days and then only we can convert all the flowers available in one particular disc into uh, seeds so we have to do that uh, uh, wrapping operations for continuously for uh, seven to ten days period of time the another way is here you can see that uh, we can have a that a muslin cloth in our hand that muslin cloth is used for wrapping of the uh, one flower so during that wrapping operations that whatever that pollen is available in this particular plant that will stick with the muslin cloth the same cloth will be used for wrapping of the another flowers so that whatever that pollen that stick with the uh, muslin cloth that will be delivered on this particular flowers during rubbing again what uh, flower that pollen available in this particular plant will stick with the muslin cloth the same muslin cloth will be used to for wrapping of these flowers so again the pollen will be disseminated the, from this also that uh, they will collect the pollen again this will be like that we have to continue so this is a muslin cloth wrapping muslin cloth wrapping so this way also we can uh, ensure and the uh, proper reaching of the pollen to the uh, head to head so that is the thing so this way also we can increase the seed set so this is normally known as a hand pollinations apart from that we have to maintain uh, that uh, five uh, number of beehives per hectare so five number of beehives per hectare that honeybee is a main pollinating agent so you have to make that honeybee to visit the sunflower so for making that uh, honeybee to visit the sunflower you can apply 10 percent jaggery solutions or nira solutions nira solution is obtained from that uh, palmyra tree 
so that is sweet in taste and also that have a very pleasant smell if you apply that in your solution or 10 percent jaggery solutions on the ear heads and the heads of the sunflower uh, automatically that will attract more number of honey bees so once that honey bee visited automatically the honey bee will take care of transfer of the pollen from one plant to another plant here you can see a beautiful image taken by um, one of the scientists so here that uh, honey bee is fully loaded with uh, and the pollen grains so here you can see whatever you are seeing in the yellow color that is a pollen grain not only in the terminal part near the head and leg and everything again this going to visit this one during this visit during the landing whatever the pollen available on this will be delivered to this and then after uh, taking up from these flowers whatever the pollen available in this that will be stick with the honey bee so here that honey bee is a really useful insight with reference to that sunflower seed production is concerned so here you can see so many number of that pollen pollen grains attached to the honey bee okay so that by visiting that flowers the honey bee will transfer the pollen grain from one head to another head so because of that here we have to maintain five number of bee hives per hectare so plant protection so here also that pest and diseases causes problems uh, you will be given with uh, much more information about this in your entomology and pathology course so these are all the major pest and diseases and the control measures are given here and then um, bad scurrying that is a very very important operation because once that uh, seed is uh, uh, after uh, mature or seed is developed that will be exposed like this this is a very, a very good uh, eatable item for almost all the living creatures <clears throat> because of that in the case of sunflower production field as and when the heads are formed more number of uh, insects that uh, uh, birds will visit starting from sparrow to peacock and everything will visit and damage to the heads so we must be very careful we have to give uh, protection to our heads against the birds that also very important thing then another important thing with reference to that uh, uh, sunflower is concerned identification of the physiological maturity stage and going for that harvest at the right time so regarding that harvest mature uh, physiological maturity in the maturity symptoms are in the back side of the thalamus normally in the head that back side is known as thalamus if it is a immature that will be green in color so here you, are, you can you can see that green color as and when that the seed attain physiological maturity and the back side that will become a lemon yellow in color here you can see the front portion also given but uh, on the back side the that whatever that uh, things are appear in this area the same color will be appear the back side of the thalamus that become a green to lemon yellow color so that is a maturity uh, indices so during that time we have to harvest the crop and we have to go for that much reduction then after that we have to separate the seed from the ear head so this is a field standard with reference to that foundation seeds that are point one percent for maximum permissible uh, uptake during that uh, to at, uh, after flowering and certified stage point two percentage so these are the things again one more thing in the case of uh, sunflower that warabangi is a parasitic weed that causes serious problems so here we have to ensure that the plantation is totally free of the warabangi infestations so once that the harvesting and the shelling is everything is over we have to process the seed with uh, 9 by 64 inches round perforated sieves then after that that seed should be given with uh, treatment like a carbon dioxide or pevistin then we can go for storage of the seeds so these are the seed standards since it's all seed crops so here that uh, the minimum germination percentage is uh, 70 percentage we have to maintain like that of the other oil seed crops and then regarding that sunflower hybrid seed production like that of that paddy here also we are following three line system that is a a line um, a line systems and uh, b line the b line is a mineral lines so the b line is used for maintenance multiplication of the a if you cross a into b you will get that uh, uh, male struggle line of the a again for hybrid seed production purpose we have to make a cross between the a into r r is a restorer line so if you make a cross between the a into r you will get the hybrid the hybrid is able to produce a viable pollen grain so here also we have to maintain that isolation distance so for uh, hybrid seed production purpose we have to maintain 600 meter 
and certified for 400 meter the planting ratio may be 8 is to 1 or some other cases of 4 is to 1 also maintaining so this is a block diagram for that planting ratio say so four rows of that female and one rows of the male like that we have to then all along the four sides we have to raise that uh, r line material as a border rows so here number of the border rows are two in number so for fertilizer point of view so 60 45 45 kg of npk we have to apply for hybrid seeds so uh, in uh, this is uh, uh, the plant habitat as far as that uh, uh, line is concerned whereas whatever that r line so far we are using for that hybrid seed production all of them are multi-head nature because that r line is uh, raised mainly for the purpose of donating pollen so if it is more number of heads in all the diamonds are available means the pollen dispersal will be in all the direction so this will take care of pollen dispersal on this direction so this will uh, disperse pollen on this direction this direction these directions so if it will need changes in wind direction so due to presence of the head in all the sites so that will take care of the pollen dispersal so because of that most of the online materials are multi-head nature thank you very much